Artificial intelligence and machine learning are affecting every facet of society, and they also promise to drive innovation and change going forward. But how the technology is used, how it's programmed, and how automated it can become has caused headlines of concern. Practical discussions on its ethics and its future are at the heart of COGX. COGX has its roots in artificial intelligence. Where are we with AI? Just a few years ago, everyone was talking about autonomous driving cars, and those things haven't happened yet. <laughs> they are They are happening. Um, one of my favorite stats on autonomous driving cars is that by 2030, 70% of us will be comfortable in some form of autonomous uh, driving. And I think that that just shows us that what's, what's happening is that AI is progressing, and in some cases, incredibly visibly, and in some cases, in the background. So the way that we use our phones to get somewhere um, as quickly as we can using Google Maps, for example, now, it can tell you how busy your tube is. That is more AI getting into everything that we use. So um, what I'm finding so interesting is seeing it it really depends on who you are and how you interact with AI, the pace of change that you think is happening. Uh, so I'm hoping that this is sort of the next dawn for, for AI, especially in the UK. And the big questions are going to be around uh, getting the fundamentals right, skills, research, compute, making sure that all sectors can use it. What's interesting, though, you talk about the AI innovation and, mm. and what it helps. But of course, you have people like Elon Musk, Bill Gates, even the late great Stephen Hawking, mm. and they always express concerns over AI. Are they right to be worried, do you think? Well, I think without question, uh, those um, individuals are absolutely visionaries. And, um, and what, you know, their, their ability to understand how the dynamics of this might play out, I don't think you can question that. What are the protections we need to put in place um, now while well, we're in the early, the embryonic years of AI uh, around things like diversity in data sets and, and engineering and deployment um, to make sure that we get uh, the, the deployment right and we're responsible about it. But as you go further out, there are many people, the ones you mentioned, and many of the scientists like Jürgen Schmidhuber and Ray Kurzweil and others who believe that at some point in 2040 we might hit um, a milestone where AI can effectively improve itself uh, at, at an exponential rate. And I think everybody that you talk to these days really acknowledges one thing is we just don't know. It could be a hundred years later than that. It could be that it never actually happens. Um, but do we need to put the protections in right now short term to make sure that we get AI right? Absolutely. Mm. And so we can speculate as much as we like about where it might go eventually. There's really important work to be done right now on AI ethics and responsible deployment.